Ohio. Fall day and it's just starting to rain now. And this is the Stark Varg. Thanks to my buddies at Pony Power Sports. Um, this is a, well, it's an 80 horsepower one, 19 inch wheel kickstand. I think it's for 187 to 197 or 186 to 197 pound rider. So it's right in my range. I'm 190 pounds. And, uh, so what's cool about it, you've got multiple maps that you can adjust. You can go from 10 horsepower to 80 horsepower. That is so neat. I, I just let some uh, some total beginners ride it today. Put it at 15 horsepower, and they put it around the field and loved it. And you can put it all the way up to 50, 60, 70, 80. It's, it's really, really cool. Super good suspension. Kayaba, I've opened the clickers up about four or five because I'm just doing slow woods today. But it feels good on the moto track. We've ridden at Briarcliff MX. Today we're going to do a little bit of everything. I'm going to go in the woods and play. It's got great ergos. Uh, thin, skinny, no temperature, no heat. Uh, battery range, well, that all depends. I think good fast guys probably get 45 minutes, maybe 40 minutes on a moto track, but like putting around in the woods like I'm doing. Or if I went to a moto track, slow vet guy, probably easily get an hour 15 to maybe an hour and a half out of it. No big deal. So let's see. I'm in 35 horsepower now. And this, I know GoPro kind of makes everything look nice and flat but this is a nice little climb here and it just finds traction I didn't know 35 would be enough but it's it's actually pretty good in the woods for climbing and finding traction and stuff now one thing it won't do is it won't pop the front wheel quite as fast if you're in say 40 or 45 but it's it still will uh, it'll still bring that front wheel up you just got to work a little bit more and now we get some more open trail. I can click it to my, kind of my favorite woods maps, 45 horsepower. And it just, it just goes and goes. It's just throttle, brakes, KYB suspension just works over a broad range of terrain. Open the clickers up, it just plushes it out. Now these bikes are 260 pounds, so there's some weight there, so the damping is, damping keeps them under control really well. But the front end steering on these is so good. It's just instant. Goes exactly where you want to point it. And see if I get out in the more open area, I can put it in map five. And I've got it dialed for 50 horsepower, so. That lets it kind of play a little bit more. And man, if you put it up to 60 here, this is 70, man, it's just crazy good. You can go 60, 70, 80 miles an hour if you want. But it's kind of fun, you can jump out. It's just an old, kind of a vet moto guy's track, but this thing is so cool. It's raining, so I don't know how good the GoPro camera's gonna look, but. Boy, it just pulls out of the corner so good. Oh, is that ever fun? So yeah, you can, I think you can do pretty much everything with this bike. A little bit of vet moto. A little bit of playing on the trails. And it's total stealth. Doesn't make any noise. Put it in the park mode. So, great air goes thin and lots of power, crazy power. So cool, you can, it's like having a lot of bikes in one. You can set it up like your friends that have never ridden a motorcycle. They can ride this thing, as long as they can touch the ground. 
You get 35 horsepower. It's pretty good in the woods. 40, 45 to me is the sweet spot in the woods. Moto track, if it's hard packed, maybe 50. If it's a little bit more loamy, 55. My son loves 60, but it's fun to put it in 80 sometimes. Brembo brakes are amazing. Cable suspension, super good. Um, boy, negatives, it's expensive, but honestly, you don't have to do anything to it. No gas, no oil. Ride it for 100 hours and just change the oil in the gear case 150 cc's that's it it's pennies to charge it's fun stark varg two thumbs up